Welcome back to this series of light reading conversations in the lead up to Mobile World Congress. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading and joining me now is Sandro Tavares, Director of Telecom Systems Marketing with Dell Technologies. Sandro, welcome to the program. Thank you, thank you, Terry, and very happy to be here. Um, what do you expect to be some of the key themes and technology trends during this year's MWC in Barcelona? Yeah, I mean, we are all excited about this event. So uh, probably like the, the first big edition of MWC after everything stopped. Uh, and uh, I believe there's going to be three main topics, right? And of course, in an event like this, you can get a little bit of everything. But I think it's going to be a strong event around Open RAN, right? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we've been talking about Open RAN for a while, but for 2022, it's a year of more consolidation uh, in this market. So I think it's going to be front and center in the discussions. Another area that I've been seeing action, I expect that uh, is going to be well covered in Barcelona is private 5G, private wireless in general. We see a lot of traction of big enterprises already deploying private wireless uh, solutions. And now it's the discussion about how to actually expand this even more and, and allow for more companies to benefit out of the technology. And the third area that I see is considering that 5G is kind of getting uh, more solidified in the networks all over the world. The deployments are ongoing. I think that we need to start looking into the next step, which is uh, looking into the enterprise applications that are going to be leveraging these networks, right? So I think that this is another topic that is going to be a, a, attracting a lot of attention at the show. Good stuff. Um, closer to home, uh, talk a bit about what we might expect from Dell during MWC. Yeah, so at Dell, we announced our renewed telecom strategy uh, in June last year. And since then, we have been, uh, we have been executing upon the strategy and, uh, and really establishing a, a, a renewed portfolio, uh, developing our partnerships and so on. So one thing that we're going to bring to the show is really uh, the, the possibility of showing this traction to our customers, showing what has achieved since we announced uh, our shift in strategy. And in addition to that, of course, we're gonna have technology announcements as well in the, in the data center infrastructure domain, in the edge computing domain as well, uh, and in general, like in the telecom networks domain. So uh, it's, a, it's a pretty interesting set of announcements. Unfortunately, I still can't talk about them right now, uh, but once the press release goes out, I'm pretty sure that the industry is going to be very excited with what we are able to show. All right. Well, you've, you've definitely piqued our interest. Um, speaking of partnerships, um, your partnership with Intel has um, helped improve the product portfolio and even positioning with um, telecom customers. How, how is that going? Can you fill us in there? Yeah, it's a strong partnership, right? We really appreciate our relationship with Intel. Intel has been a, a, a pretty significant partner uh, for Dell Technologies for a long time. Uh, and we continue to collaborate, like in the, of course, in the deployment of uh, and development of, of new server solutions. We just announced new edge servers uh, last year that are equipped with the Intel uh, Ice Lake uh, platform. And we'll continue to do so with the next releases of the Intel uh, chipsets as well for servers, the Xeon, uh, Xeon scalable solutions, right? And in addition to that, we do have a strong partnership as well uh, on the on the on the edge side, so on, on the services edge domain with Intel's uh, solutions on that being combined with our expertise as well. So all together, like the partnership with Intel is as I said, very important for us. And it really helps us in this uh, renewal of our strategy and the strengthening of our presence in the telecommunications market. All right. Um, you mentioned ORAN a few minutes ago. Um, we're, we're seeing Cloud RAN figuring more and more in the headlines. Um, and I'm wondering if you can talk about some of the developments with Cloud RAN from Dell's perspective. Yeah. Uh, well, 
it's been a, a journey, right? So with Cloud Ran, with Open Ran as well, I think that if you're looking to what has been happening in the last year or so, lots of positive steps, new vendors popping in, new uh, implementations starting to arise. It's still kind of limited in size, but really proving that the concept is viable. So we just, as an industry, we need to continue. I think there is no doubt that this is the right way to go, right? That uh, operating the RAN efforts and building RAN efforts based on open standards brings a lot of benefits to the ecosystem in general. So for for customers, for like uh, the telecom operators, for vendors and so on. So we just need to continue the work to solidify the solutions and make sure that they are really becoming the prevalent solutions in an efforts uh, in the future, right? But a lot of good work has been done. There's a lot of good work that still needs to be done. Uh, but yeah, open rent is a reality. Right. Well, Sandra, we appreciate the update on the service provider, the enterprise, and the end user market where wireless and mobility is concerned. Thanks for joining us today for this MWC conversation with Light Reading. Thank you very much, Terry. We've been talking with Sandra Tavares of Dell. This has been Terry Sweeney for Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this segment, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>